back in the garage, back back in the garage, in the garage, in the garage, back in the garage today, back in the garage, back in the garage today. What's up guys, back in the garage today installing a side stand enlarger on my KTM 1290 Super Adventure. So the side stand enlarger I'm going to put on this bike is made by Hepco and Becker. You can see the part number on there. This was sent to me by motomachines.com. This is not a paid advertisement for them, but they did send this over to me and say, here, check it out. Let us know what you think. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is going to be a two-part video. I'm going to show you how to install this thing, which should be pretty simple. And then this coming weekend, we're going on the Wild Wonderful weekend trip. So I'll have three days to test this thing out under a few different conditions and kind of let you know my thoughts on it uh, in the second part of this video. Before we get started with the install of this side stand enlarger, I do have some side stand pucks. These were donated by Ride on Moto. Uh, Roadrunner Financial is one of the banks they work with to uh, secure financing for motorcycles they sell up there. I have four of these available for subscribers. Uh, if you're one of the first four to email me, I'll put my email address at the bottom of the screen. Just send it with the subject uh, side stand pucks, send me your name and mailing address. I will drop one of these in the mail to you free of charge. I'll pick up the shipping and I'll also throw some two-wheeled rider stickers in there as well. So uh, thank you Ride on Moto and Roadrunner Financial for uh, giving me a few of these to give away. One more thing, if I look a little tired in today's video, it's because I am. I raced my first hair scramble of the year yesterday and uh, I'm a little tired and a little sore today, but uh, we got to get this thing put on. All right, so first things first, let's see what's included in the package. We obviously have the side stand enlarger, and I'm gonna guess this is some instructions. Now this will fit the 1050, 1190, and 1290 adventure models of KTM. Really, it should fit any of their larger adventure bikes. And as I suspected, really, really easy instructions. We're gonna take these three screws out, and then we're gonna put them back in. All right, so I've already removed the three screws here, separating the base plate and the top plate. The only thing you're going to need to install this is a 3mm Allen or hex key, whatever you want to call it. Also some medium strength uh, thread locker or blue Loctite. And also included in here is this little foam sticky back piece. We are going to peel the back of it off and place it right here. That will ensure a nice tight fit on this whole setup. Off camera I'm just going to go ahead and take a little rubbing alcohol and clean this up a little bit to make sure I get a good adhesion. And you can see I've got the little piece of sticky back foam in place. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of Loctite on each of those screws and get this thing set up. All right, so again, I've got the bike on the center stand. I've got the side stand down. We're going to put the base plate on here. There we go. Put the top plate on top of that. And I've already got some blue Loctite on these screws. I'm just going to start them out by hand just to get them started. And then we'll go around and tighten them up. All right, so the instructions call for no more than four newt meters of torque on here, but if you're using a tool such as mine, it's gonna be very difficult to tighten them down much more than that. So I just wanna snug them up a little before I totally tighten them. We'll go around on all three, and then we'll tighten them down. There is what the side stand enlarger looks like installed. I'm gonna pop it down off the center stand just to uh, test it out real quick. And there it is with the side stand down. It does give the side stand a much larger footprint. I kind of like the black. I wish the, the silver was a little bit more of a matte finish, kind of like my skid plate, but it's still not quite chrome, so it's not too shiny. Anyway, guys, that is the install portion of the side stand enlarger. About a week from now, and you guys won't have to wait that long. It's coming up in a few seconds. I'll give you my thoughts on it after testing out for a week and a uh, long weekend ride, and uh, we'll see what I think about it. So uh, let's check that part of the video out now. All right, so fast forward like two weeks from the time I installed the uh, side stand enlarger on the bike. Had a chance to test it out a couple of weekends ago on the wild and wonderful weekend trip. We rode somewhere between six, 700 miles over the course of three days. And I got to test this product out in a bunch of different conditions. By the way, I will have a series on the wild and wonderful weekend trip coming up. But in the meantime, if you wanna check out my buddy Brian's video, he edited one, put it up on his channel. I'll link it up here, go check it out. Turned out pretty good. But anyway, back to the enlarger. I got to test it out on concrete, asphalt, uh, dirt, gravel, like it's sitting on right now, and also in a grassy area. 
and it did what it was supposed to do. Uh, it kept my bike upright, which is the one good thing. Uh, but it, it does have a much wider footprint. Um, I never really had any problems with the factory kickstand the way it was with the foot on it. It was a little small, but I never had any issues with it. That said, sometimes I would use one of those plastic pucks, and I also have a uh, diamond plate one that I carry in the back here for my center stand. Sometimes I would throw that down on really, really hot asphalt parking lots uh, because I knew there was a possibility it would sink. Would I use one of those pucks now with this installed? Probably not. This thing's got a really wide footprint and it feels really stable. Uh, the only difference I noticed in operation um, now, you know, sometimes I would get a little lazy and I have the bike leaned over a little bit when I go to put the foot, uh, when I go to put the uh, kickstand down. Now, because it's a little bit thicker there on the bottom, you got to have the bike a little more upright for it to have the ground clearance. It is going to make the bike sit slightly more upright than it did before just because it raises it up a little but it's stable as can be. But there are some other options out there. Uh, this one's kind of middle of the road price-wise. I haven't tested out the other manufacturers, but they're basically all the same. It's a wider piece of metal that bolts on to your factory kickstand to give you a wider footprint. Uh, this one, like I said, is kind of middle of the road. There's some that are a little more expensive, and there might be one or two out there that's five, ten dollars less. But this is a good quality product. I have nothing negative to say about it. Ultimately, the decision comes down to you whether or not you want to part ways with sixty bucks for a side stand and larger, or you're cool with just carrying one of the plastic ones, or just crushing a beer can and throwing it underneath. But I don't have anything negative to say about it. It works as advertised. It's a quality piece for your bike. It looks good on the bike, and uh, yeah, it's it's a good product. So uh, thank you Moto Machines for sending that out to me. Uh, be sure to check out their website even if you're not interested in this product. Even if you don't ride a super adventure, they've got stuff for all different types of bikes out there. Again, they are not paying me to say anything. They wanted my honest opinion. You guys have got it. It's an easy install. It's a good product. And if it's something you're interested in, I would suggest checking it out. So Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, well, this is the place to be. If you have any questions about the side stand and larger that I didn't go over, or maybe you want a little more detail on something, let me know down in the comments section below. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.